Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 15th of 2025 is titled Earth During a Powerful Solar Storm. So, what do we see here? Well, here we actually see a computer model of what would have happened if a coronal mass ejection were to have struck Earth directly. Now, this has happened in the past, and in fact, it's known as the Carrington event that was in 1859 and caused significant damages to telegraph material, in fact, causing sparks through the telegraph wires and then the telegraph equipment. Now, we did have one that came close to Earth in 2012, but did not strike us directly, and that was a fortunate thing. Because as you can see, as this video plays on a loop, you can see what it does to Earth's magnetic field, and in fact, completely, almost wipes it out on the side facing the sun. So you can see how it's all in green there, and how it turns red, and how the magnetic field is just completely pushed back in this massive solar storm. Now, what would that do? Well, a direct hit like that would be able to fry a lot of communication satellites. So, we depend on communication satellites here on Earth, and those would be completely, could be completely wiped out by this. At least those that, at the time that it hits, are on that side. And since they are moving, all of them would eventually make it into that region. So it would just depend on the length of the actual impact of the coronal mass ejection. So we see a lot of things with solar flares. Solar flares and smaller coronal mass ejections give us a lot of the aurora that we see here on Earth. The stronger storms compress the magnetic field a little bit more, allowing the aurora to be seen at lower latitudes. However, a very intense storm that happens every hundred years or so could really completely damage things here on Earth, and depending on how strong, may damage satellites and may even be able to affect electronic equipment here on Earth. Now, of course, the last major one occurred in 1859, so there was not a lot of electra, electric equipment around. Telegraph would have been the state of the art for communications at the time. So we're far more dependent on electronics, meaning that something that actually fries out a lot of them could be a much more significant issue now than one that hit us 150 years ago. So, here again, we see a computer model of what could have happened to Earth's magnetic field if a large coronal mass ejection from about a decade ago had struck Earth head on. And again, that affects the communication satellite. It'll actually push the magnetic field inside. It would be compressed so much that it's inside the orbit of the geosynchronous satellites. That's where we put a lot of communication satellites, which then would not no longer be protected by Earth's magnetic field. Our magnetic field protects us from a lot of the particles from the sun. This would expose those satellites to these particles, causing potentially significant damage. So that was our picture of the day for September 15th of 2025. It was titled Earth During a Powerful Solar Storm. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Stellar Cathedral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.